in four days of sweat and pressure for the 1,400 competitors. These are the youth trained at various Tivert colleges globally. They have demonstrated their techniques in various artisan skills. Each country's mission was focused on recognition as the world's best. Many participants say the competition was grueling. For these young South Africans, it was also a learning curve. The challenges that I faced is that I arrived here in France, Lyon, uh, physically fit, but mentally I was not fit for the competition. And that really affected me, but I managed to finish all the tasks. From the competition, I'm taking away a lot of experience, a lot of information with me. So with me, it was more a learning curve, boy. it was hard. Authorities say preparations for the World Skills Africa to be held in Zambia next year, April, have begun. They hope to increase more numbers. Well, I must say that I'm quite very confident if I compare to other World Skills competitions because of the work that we have invested to the team that is here. We spend more or less three months just focusing on training of them. So we're quite very happy that we'll bring something home this time around uh, from France. We'll start obviously with uh, Zambia uh, next year, which is going to be held in April. So that is Africa chapter of World Skills International. So we really hope that we'll bring more skills in Zambia. But then the following uh, 2026, we're going to China. 2028, we're going to uh, Japan. So we're going to increase the numbers of those who are participating in this uh, World Skills uh, International competition. The winners of the World Skills competition 2024 will be announced at the closing ceremony on Sunday, the 15th of September. I'm Nonjabulom Tungwamamu for SABC News in Lyon, France.